taking a look at question number four from the adding and subtracting decimals worksheet. Remember, you're not allowed to use calculators uh, for this chapter. We are doing everything by hand. We have three different decimals that we're adding. Um, so you're going to want to start by stacking them vertically. We have 10.443. And at this time, since I know that I have uh, three more things I'm going to be adding to that, I'm just going to go down and put two more decimal or two more things that I'm adding to that, two more decimal places. So I'm making sure that I line everything up properly. My next number is 5.38, and I'm going to put a zero in there as a placeholder. Remember that doesn't change the number; it's still um, still the same value. Okay, and our fourth number or third number that we're putting in is 4.127. And we are adding those three things together. So we're going to start off over in the thousandths column. 3 plus 0 is 3, plus another 7 is 10. So I'm going to put a 0 here and I'm going to carry the 1. Uh, 4 and 1 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 2 more is 15. Carry the 1. Now I'm into my tenths place. Uh, 4 and 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, and then 9. Once you add in the 1. Now at this point, I would make sure you put down your decimal. Uh, if if you want to do it at the end, that's fine, but I like to do it as I get to it. Um, now we're going to add up the ones place. 0 plus 5 is 5, plus another 4 is 9. And then finally the tens place, we only have a 1, so we're bringing down that 1. So our answer would be 19.95. Uh, um, the 0 can stay or it can go. Uh, you can say 19 and 95 hundredths or 19 and 950 thousandths. But your final answer is 19.95. We're going to box that in. And that is it for question number four. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.